going to school in, at the University of Idaho and um, going through a really tough time being a typical college student, um, falling into a lot of sin, um, and some really crazy things happened where God just kind of took the rug right out from under my feet and I kind of I lost control and uh, moved over here and a girl who had been going to CCF, her name is Lauren McMillan, she started inviting me to CCF. Um, so I started going to CCF last spring and um, I was in awe the first couple times that I went seeing um, 300 students um, who looked, <laughs> I don't know, exactly like me, who I, I didn't see anything wrong with, who were so open about their relationship with God and who were so willing to praise Him and, um, and fellowship in His name. I just found myself bawling, um, feeling like I really was losing it all and I told God that I had messed up my life and that I couldn't be in control anymore and basically if he thought that he could do a better job that I, um, that I would let him be in charge. With Campus Christian Fellowship, uh, over the last two years, I've really been someone who's been reached by the ministry. Um, just, I always felt comfortable in my Christianity, knowing that I was saved and not really worrying if anyone else was. Um, but then I went on this trip over spring break to San Francisco. It's what we call Student Spring Impact. It totally changed my life, not like my outlook on life, but actually the way that I'm living my life. It was incredible, and through that I was, I was reached, and through that I came to a place where I wanted to reach other people. I feel like myself and a lot of the students here are really being sent out into a desperate situation where our secular university community needs God so bad, and I feel that we've been sent out to bring God to the hungry. I'm a Fairhaven student here at Western, and Fairhaven is not an environment that's friendly towards Christians. I pray for my classroom every day, and uh, now in that class we've had two constructive not debative, but constructive conversations, like class discussions about Jesus Christ and Christianity. And that's just been incredible to see. CCF has put on a lot of programs and clinics. CORE is definitely one of the ways I have benefited from CCF, um, and they've trained me. Um, and even more through that, my one-on-ones with my CORPA, um, just being able to talk with someone one-on-one -on -one and have them specifically cater to what I'm feeling and pray for me specifically. Another thing that has really trained me is um, discipleship class and I learned a lot through there and just how to, um, what it means to be a disciple for God and what it means to disciple others. Brady did a great job of um, knowing what the students were looking for and what they needed and um, just being with other people who had the same like-mindedness of just completely seeking God and wanting to be his disciples and that was encouraging and it spurred me on to continue training in him and learning about him. After graduation, um, I really felt God's tugging on my heart to go and impact the world. And so I spent a year in Amsterdam in the Netherlands and I worked with the campus ministry there that was just starting. And at the end of that year, God really spoke to me again and He said, um, I want you to do this for your lifetime. So right now I'm in the second year of an internship learning how to be a campus pastor and I'm doing that through University Christian Ministries. And I've learned skills in evangelism and discipleship and I've fallen in love with scripture in a way that I never have before. And I know when I leave here, I'm gonna have a, just a box or two full of resources and just really helpful material to help me learn how to be a better campus pastor. But the main thing I'm gonna leave with is a stronger pastoral heart. So I'll be equipped to be a missionary anywhere I go in life.